So this is kind of dope. As a promo through my Instagram page, if you take a screenshot of our Instagram page, post it onto your Instagram, tag us, I'll be calling every single person. And the first person that did this is from the UK, which is crazy enough because the podcast is already like starting to go international, which is like crazy to me because this was just six months ago, an idea, or excuse me, like eight months ago, just an idea. And now to see this like internationally growing and people in other countries or listening to me like crazy. We're gonna call this guy. I'm gonna keep this recording and uh, you guys can see how this goes. Cam from the UK. Let's try this. Wireless, your call cannot be completed as dialed for location. Hang up in dial 911. Why isn't this working? Welcome to. Hmm. Hello? Hey, is this Cam? It is. Oh, how you doing? I'm not bad, yeah. I'm having a good day. So, what's going on? Tell me about yourself. So my question for you would be, what what is it that I can do for you? I was just saying that like you've really grown your podcast and you've got all these great connections with other creative people. It'd be more because my stuff's new. Like, how would you recommend to me go about getting my stuff out there? How old are you right now? Uh, I'm 21. 21? Okay, so I'm 23, so I'm only two years older than you, my friend, and that even two years is not, not much. Surround yourself with people who are very like-minded like you. You know, they like photography, they are creatives. They don't even necessarily have to have the same vision as you. They just have to be on the same mindset of you in the sense of like, they're pushing themselves to create something that nobody else sees or understands just yet. And the craziest thing about like this podcast is that I had this vision for it before I even launched it. So like I was pitching business cards to people about what it was gonna be about before I even had one episode a launch to the world. I had a vision of I wanted all different types of people. I wanted the photographer, I wanted the musician, I wanted the skateboarder. Like I could close my eyes and actually visually see what I wanted this to become. And I think because of that, I've been able to just, no matter what the number of plays were, no matter how many people were you know, reaching out, I didn't care because I knew where I was gonna take this. It doesn't matter if nobody's watching right now. It's gonna be about what you have out there for when the time comes. You know, focus on building your content. You said you listened to all the episodes, correct? Yeah. Yo, you're amazing. Yo, that's crazy, bro. It was that, it was literally, it was by chance, really, that I found out about it, because I follow Justin Escalona yep. on YouTube, but I just happened, I not watched one, well, I happened to tune in on the one that uh, you were around it, so I was like, oh, I'll see what all this is about. Listen to, I just went and found it, obviously, before his was released, and I just listened to number one, and I was like, oh, these are really, like, interesting, I was hooked, I thought the stories were really interesting, and the people you'd add on. I just ended up listening to them all. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. I just appreciate the fact that like this is actually resonating with people. Like that's like the coolest thing ever. To be talking to you in a different country right now, bro, is like so yeah. it's so crazy to me because I appreciate every single listener that's helping this grow right now. Recognizing the people that were there from the start that helped get you to where you want to go. Absolutely. The two best things would be to one, make sure you have this vision of what you want your brand to be, what you want it to like people to come across and see it and like what they you want them to resonate with. And then secondly, just start surrounding yourselves with people that have this like-minded thing. It's not as easy as it is as possible. I know that. You know, great ways through Instagram. If you see somebody's work out in the UK that you like, reach out to them, DM them and be like, hey, listen, I love your work. Like if it's somebody who has like a good phone, but hey, listen, I'd love to like buy you a cup of coffee. Like, you know, could we shoot some time? Like I'm really interested and you know some people might not respond some people might yeah. tell you they're too busy which is understandable but then there might be that one one in hundred person that actually says yeah dude like let's meet up you got nothing to lose like throw yourself out there like try to contact these people and what's the worst they're gonna do say no and the other thing is too is just be patient like be patient about growing your brand be patient about making these connections you know you want it to be genuine you just want to come off as somebody who's trying to learn so if you keep it short simple sweet to the point when you're reaching out to them there's a bigger chance you're gonna hear back from them yeah. Exactly. That's all it is about, my friend. It's attention. Some great things that I'll probably I'll definitely take on board. This is just my advice, and I, I'm definitely not somebody who knows and, and has all the pieces of the puzzle together, but this is just kind of how I view things and kind of what I've been able to adjust to. And I think the fact that yours is all based around the youth really helps resonate with a lot of people. 
that's where you get the relatability and that's where it's more impactful. I mean, I think that's what I, I personally have enjoyed the podcast so much. And it's been like super interesting seeing how other people like young in their twenties have made it to the point where they are now and it's like you can see the steps of how I what I should be taking. And they're all different stories with different goals and different mindsets, but it's at the end of the day they're all doing what they love and they're all in the youth. Well you got any last last like one two minute question you got from So you I presume you're planning on like trying to travel more and get more I mean at one point I would love to get this international and that's just a matter of time and that comes back to like the whole patience of like knowing that what's to come. You know, I definitely want to be all over the world getting different youth perspectives, but we still got quite quite some journey before we get there. One, I appreciate you like reaching out to me in the first place and then following through and actually like taking part of this contest. Like this shit really means a lot to me and I appreciate you. Secondly, dude, just keep, just keep working at it and just be patient. Like really invest every minute of every day into what you're trying to do because if you're not, somebody else is doing the same. Many steps every day and I promise you at some point in time, you're gonna get one break, two breaks, three breaks and before you know it, you're gonna be exactly where you wanna be. First, uh, first listener of the podcast that I've ever actually had a phone call with, and it just so happens to be you're in another country, which to me is absolutely mind blowing. Cameron Mackey, when this shit is at the tops and the peaks, my friend, Cameron Mackey, you're gonna be remembered, and I promise you this. This conversation, do not, do not forget this. I can promise you that. It's been great, Bobby. Stay in touch. I'd love to hear from you soon. Yeah, yeah, you too, man. Awesome, man. Talk to you soon. Alright, see you later. See ya. That is crazy. Like I saw. Like what? Oh man. When I made this podcast, I had the intentions of this being big. Making this one of the biggest podcasts in the world. Like it, this is not going to be a podcast that I just like launch and like let it go for six months and then just like it just ends. Like this is going to be one of the biggest podcasts this world has seen. To have a phone call with somebody from another country as the first call I've ever made from a listener on the podcast is crazy. A lot more coming. A lot more on the way. Purpose in the podcast. It's your boy, Bob A.